Rusty and Frida Pito are suing their neighbor Harry Johnson in the amount of $10,000. Mr. Pito says while attending the defendant's 4th of July party, he shot a firework at his champion fighting rooster and killed it. Mr. Johnson claims the co-plaintiffs should have kept a better eye on their pet because accidents can happen. Court is now in session with the Honorable Judge Maybelline presiding. All parties are sworn in, Your Honor. Thank you. You may be seated. This is a matter of Rusty and Frida Pito versus Harry Johnson suing for $10,000 uh, for killing of your game cock. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what happened. Uh, long story short, ma'am, uh, he was having a 4th of July party, and he wanted me to bring my prize game cocks over to his party for the kids. You know, they like to feed them, chase them, run around. And I hear this boom, and I turn around, and my cock was exploded. Well, so where did the boom come from? You say you hear. You weren't paying attention? Well, he deliberately aimed a, a firework at my prize cock. Slick Willie. His name was Slick Willie, and he, and he destroyed it. He killed it. He I hear somebody it. whispering in your ear. My wife, because... Okay, so let me just let her tell the story, because if she keeps whispering, <laughs> I'm going to have to sit her down. Uh, you think you can tell it better than he can? Yes. All right. right, so let me hear from you. Uh, basically, we were invited to our neighbor Harry's 4th of July party. This was our first time coming. Harry and his family are fans of our prize-winning Gamecocks. Our number one Gamecock is Slick Muhammad Willie. Ali Slick Willie. He's the Muhammad Ali of Gamecocks. So he told you to bring the Gamecocks. Yes, sir. And you yes. took your prize-winning Gamecock over. Yep. And now what happened? He, yeah, he, he deliberately. He, he, well, you say he deliberately. You need to tell me what happened. Because mm -hmm. deliberately, did you hear him say, I'm going to kill it? She did. Well, I did. Your okay, Honor. tell me what happened. I was over by the picnic area, and I heard our neighbor Harry talking to Jack Hoffer, who was another, another neighbor. neighbor, but he really bets big on cockfighting. And he was telling him how he had lost a lot of money on Slick Willie. And he who said, said that? Jack was telling at the Harry. The other person. Yes, our other neighbor. But Harry agreed that, yeah, things would be better and I could make my money back if Slick Willie wasn't around. So Ooh. we need to get rid of that bird so we can level the playing field. So the next thing I heard is Harry turned to Jack and said, I got an idea. Look, man, I'm about to fry me some chicken. And the next thing I know, I'm trying to get across the yard to warn my husband that they're scheming. And I heard a big explosion. It was feathers and carnage. Wow. It was awful. All right, so how much have you won off Slick Willie? Well, here is... Or how much has Slick Willie won for you? 10000 for the last fight. Wow. Here's the award. But we've made quite a living off of our Gamecocks. Especially Slick Willie. Here's a picture of Slick Willie. Wow. $10,000. Whew, that's a lot. In one fight? Well, that was one fight. From a rooster. You're making $10,000 off a rooster. That's just one fight, Your Honor. We Ooh, made it's pretty. You have this pretty thing fight? Mr. Johnson, what you had to say? This is ridiculous. First of all, I have this big 4th of July party every year. They neighbors, they, they stay three houses down from me. Hey, won't you come on down? I don't want you talking over on this side. Now, and Miss, Miss Pito, you take a seat. Okay. Mr. Johnson. Okay. So, you know, I invited them. They, they stay some houses down. I told them to come on through. He brings three birds with him, three gang cops. There's no way with kids and, and our party, we're going to want some birds yes. hanging around. So, okay, that's what happened. All right. What happened was... All right, we had these fireworks, fireworks, you know, and they're supposed to shoot straight up, all right? So me and Jack, we had them. I didn't have a lighter at the time, so Jack gave me the lighter. So I lit it up, and it was supposed to shoot straight up, but it fell down, and it went horizontally. Horizontally, up the birds behind, <laughs> and then it exploded. It blew up. The and bird it just exploded. So happened to have gone horizontal toward the birds behind, and it's never done that in the past. No, I mean, it was it after It always God. goes straight up. Oh, it always goes straight up. Wow. Oh, at least for me. Wow. And you've had this 4th of July party for Last decades. Last 10 years. See? And that's the only and time. And never it has it gone horizontal. Never. And, and you honest. and Jack were not conspiring to get rid of Slick Willie. 
We told him before to get rid of Slick Willie. You told the plaintiff to get rid I of Slick Willie. I told the plaintiff before, get rid of Slick Willie. Because, I didn't hear that, man. Because he was drunk. No. No. They were drunk, Your Honor. They and were, you were drunk, too. Yeah, I was drunk, but I was sober enough to, to tell him to get some oh, birds up please. out of here. So now we're going to go through who was the most sober and who was the most oh. drunk. That's so stupid. We're not having that contest. And it was kids there, so if he was negligent with the fireworks. Ah, I'm not feeling He good. should be so watching you're saying that. Birds. So where was the Slick Willie? In relation to your firework that you set off. Slick Willie was about maybe 10 feet away from where the actual motor tube, the oh. firecracker, I mean firework was. What kind of firework did you set off that was supposed to go straight up? Which one was that? The motor tube. The motor tube? Yes. Okay. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. So would they, that type of firework was legal? I mean, I've never had a complaint. No. You don't know one way or the other. You just go buy them and use them, right? All right, it's for the kid. We're going to have fun. We're back with the case of Rusty and Frida Pito, who are suing Harry Johnson for loss of property. That's that big one that makes a loud boom. The big circle and goes straight up and the world And aren't you in fire. the United States yes. doing this? Excuse what, me? Where were you doing this? At home in Tecate, California. Aren't those fireworks illegal? Not that I know of. Yeah. What part of California? Yeah. Tecate. Where is that? Uh, it's not too Northern far from California? Mexico. It's oh, like, right at uh, the line. It's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Border. So would they, that type of firework was legal? I mean, I've never had a complaint. No. You don't know one way or the other. You just go buy them and use them, right? All right, it's for the kids. We're going to have fun. Mm -hmm. And where were the kids in relation to these fireworks? They were around. They so were they around were around they as well? Say, yes. So, but none of the kids got injured by it? Not at all. Just his bird? Just his bird. You only no. have a picture of Slick Willie? Yes. You don't have anything that shows me the size the so I can see a there. distinction. Well, I have a... He don't know a licensee his own birds. For my gaming license to fight the birds. And it tells me the size of them? Slick Willie, he was... He was <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, the other two were... You know, kind of dwarfed by him. He was the big dog on the block. He said, uh, well, the letter you just showed me did not say anything about the rest of them, but it said that this game cock was only worth $2,000. Yes, it was only worth $2,000, but it's, <laughs> it, it is hindering my quality of life because I make almost $100,000 yeah, a year you ask, fighting this. But see, what he did was kill Slip Willie. You made $10,000 off of him, but that wasn't a fight then. And the next time, you don't know how much you'll make. And you don't know if he'll win. You want me to order him to pay for the winnings that you got several months ago off Slick Willie. Man, my cock always wins. Okay. Well, I don't, he won't win anymore. So now the question is, what was the value of this particular game clock? And the sad part about it, Mr. Pito, is you, you brought me the evidence. You brought it. Not him. Now, if you brought. knew that Slick Willie had brought you in six figures in income annually, then that's the evidence you should have been bringing me to court. Right. Okay. Right. You brought me evidence. You chose what to bring. You wanted to prove to me the value of Slick Willie. You presented this from a licensed veterinarian right. who said that this particular type of bird has a value of two thousand dollars. Yes, ma'am. All right. So why wouldn't you bring me something to show the value of this bird to you? I just didn't quite think it all out, you know. Mm. So distraught. how can I substantiate your winnings? He chose the piece of evidence that he brought to court to substantiate his claim, and all it says is two thousand dollars is what the cock is worth. Now. Since you won $10,000 in the past, just recently, before this, I give you that 10 Because at least he's worth 10000 But I don't know about that 200000 that 500000 all of those numbers. So I will give you judgment for the plaintiff for the $10,000. That's the court order. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the co-plaintiffs. The defendant is ordered to pay $10,000. It's a total accident. I can't believe I got to pay for you guys dumb birds. Slick Willie was a champion, so it is what it is. 